Hello Birdville ISD, here we are going to look into changing the settings of your Canvas course. So you want to come into your Canvas course, you'll see your, your navigation on the left, you want to click on settings, and then we're going to scroll down on settings to where it says more options, we're going to click more options, and what we want to work with is this area right here. There's a few of these that we want to uncheck and check so that we can just improve performance and communication with parents. The first one is we want to uncheck let students create discussion topics. That means that if that's turned on, students can go to discussions and create discussions and start to do that without you knowing unless you have notifications for that set. So we want to take that option away just for safety and and just managing the course. The next one is we want to uh, let students organize their own groups. We want to uncheck that one as well. Groups is a whole nother experience. Again, if you're using it, it's fine, but if you're not gonna use it, we just wanna uncheck that just for student safety because it gives students a little more uh, power in the group that's similar to a teacher. And so again, we wanna just remove that option for them so that we can just keep them safe when they are using Canvas. These are the big ones. We want to hide the totals in student grade summary, and we want to hide the grade distribution graphs from students. So we've in the past had this issue where parents are calling you saying, hey, my kid has a 90% in Canvas, but on Skyward it's 70. What's the deal? There's a whole number of things of reasons why that that's there. Maybe you did your tests in AWARE and imported them into Skyward without Canvas even knowing. But the point is, is that by doing this, by turning on this hide totals, what it will say in the grade book under grade totals is not applicable. And then you can put an announcement and a reminder post that says, remember all grades can be viewed in Skyward. Uh, this other one here, hide grade distribution graphs from students, that really is just taking away some extra data that just, it doesn't need to be seen unless you really want it to be there. What it does is it will take all of the assignments, once there are at least five in the grade book, it will then divide them out and show the mean, the median, uh, the high grade, the low grade, and it'll show exactly where the student sits based on their own grade. That's not really data that we're looking to share with students. It's something, especially for day-to-day -day assignments. So hiding that grade distribution graph is not that uh, big of a deal to, um, to have turned on there. Um, the last thing is you just want to make sure that the only teachers can create, rename, and edit course pages by default. So that's just something that we want to make sure is there as well. If you want to turn off comments on announcements, if you're making a lot of announcements and kids are starting to make comments that are distracting, you can click this, uh, this checkbox here as well. But overall, this is the look that you should have for your course settings just to help communication as far as grades and to just keep some safety issues with groups and comments and discussions. So hope this helps. Happy start to the year. We'll help you whenever you need. Just contact your digital learning specialist. Thanks, everybody.